Something is leaking. Here's what we gotta do today. We got trucks running, we got two more loads to bring out. Jim just got back with the first one of the morning and the other one is loaded for him. Dad is switching the land roller off the tractor and putting the rock picker on the 8260. We're gonna figure out what's leaking on this bad boy and see if we can fix that. We also gotta switch this rig over to soybeans. And as you can see, it's gonna be an awesome warm day again. The corn was this tall yesterday morning. Now it's that tall. Doubled in one day. Pretty impressive. We got that thing switched halfway over. I'm gonna start throwing together our new seed chute, our seed clean out chute that we got from Sloan Express. Came with caps. Nice. What do you think? Huh? Not bad. Speedy had to put a shipping label right on my new clean out chute. Here, Jim. You wanna pick out a new hat? Oh, wow. Whole bunch of new hats. Well, there you go. Now you can wear that deer hunting. Yo, <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> okay, so we got extra long straps here that we cut to fit our length of our planter and then we bolt them into place. On the side of the chute, pretty simple deal. I'm gonna do that. Jim and I engineered our own way rather than uh, bolting the straps on right now. We fished them through there. I think that'll, that's gonna work. And then we can put bags underneath here. This is three inch so we can attach a hose to that if we wanted. And it's got the screen down inside here to catch any debris inside there that might be in the seed so that when you when it comes through it should be clean. people have asked me why the seed is purple or it's been green in some other videos why it's a different color other than yellow shouldn't corn be yellow well this is actually coated with an insecticide and a fungicide so that it can survive in cold wet soils for longer if it needs to to keep the seeds safe from bugs and from fungus that will grow by sitting in in cold wet soils which we've had a ton of up to this point anything we plant now is going into pretty warm soils and it's going to be up pretty quick there's plenty of moisture there so it isn't going to be a problem stuff's going to grow fast now that the weather's finally turned but that's the deal it's actually coated in that seed coating or seed treatment we call it to keep the seeds safe um, so it's yellow when we harvest it but uh but it, this stuff gets treated as seed that's what the color is is all about I got that row unit, start that over. I got that row unit, Jesus criminy. I got that row cleaner fixed too, that, that uh, number two one that got, must have gotten hit with a rock and bent. I was having problems with it, but the assembly on that was definitely bent. It was actually almost getting into the gauge wheel. <clears throat> so I got that fixed. Now we got all 24 row cleaners on there. We're moving to beans so we can kick some of those root balls out of the way see what kind of a job those row units do. I seem to have had them working pretty well last time I used the planter. So now we'll get in some, uh, get in some of that corn ground and see how they actually work. It has been exactly two weeks today since this thing actually rolled last. We've had two weeks of cold and wet and now it is beyond go time. Those guys told me to go plant. They don't want to deal with me anymore. So they're going to stay back and load that seed tender, bring it up to the field for me where that thing works really, really nicely so that I can load myself. But the planter's loaded now. I'll switch the monitors over to soybeans and get rolling. Now see boys and girls, what we have there is called a red tractor. That 
is a versatile. I understand what that vehicle is. It's it's the uh, it's the funny looking ones that I just I don't I don't know what they are, but that's a versatile or a versatile Mike Mike Les Farman Mike. How do I say it? Versatile, versatile, ver, ver, versatile, vers, versatile. Kind of like trying to say Louisville. See like that red one. What the heck is it? It's not a versatile, versatile, versatile. You know, somebody asked me what I have personally against Case. What's the deal? Did we have a bad experience or, or what? I have nothing against Case, guys. I really don't. I just like to poke fun. You know, it's no different than Chevy versus Ford. Ford makes a good truck. They're all good. It's just that Chevy is by far superior. That's all. I certainly appear to be planting soybeans again. Although the field is off to the wrong side because that's just the way this field worked out. All right, I figured I better stop and check here. I got about 10 acres in. Make sure everything looks good. We got the right down for us. Row units are working awesome. We're putting seed in at the correct depth. And it's a beautiful view from here. A little shallower there in that spot than I wanted. Not terrible. See if there's any going in deeper. Now they're a little shallow. These ones are not bad. A little drier down in there than I actually expected. A lot of wind and sun. Everything dried up a little more overnight than we thought it would. Which is good. I'm running plenty of downforce, but the beans are a little bit shallow. I think I'm gonna raise up and just adjust them so that they're about a quarter inch deeper. I don't, I don't need to bump in more downforce, so I'm not gonna do that because then you can start creating sidewall compaction. But we're pretty close, we're pretty good. Oh, well, it looks like the row cleaners are working pretty well now that I've gotten them freed up to the point where, where they like to move up and down. Everything's consistent. I got them so they're touching the ground most of the time, which might be too often in conventional tillage, I don't know, but I figure, if we can move these lumps out of the way, I'm not running a lot of pressure on them, so they're just kind of there, kicking the lumps out of the way the way they're supposed to do. I got my egg cam watching to make sure we're not building up uh, residue or root balls, anything like that, onto these tracks, which we're not. That hasn't been a problem today. Well, I don't like having end rows, and I like getting close to things. I, um, I might have messed up here. Mm, stay tuned. Never good when the tracks look like that. There's not a lot of grip left there. Come on. Okay, so I'm not gonna back up. The question is, do I try to go forward? Yep. <laughs> Never doubted it. Never questioned it, if I can get the planter through. No issues. You guys thought I might be stuck. What do you think, guys? I know it's a little wet in here, but I'm considering trying my first uh, my first 40 feet of no-till in 20 years. Here we go. Fighting mud. Crank the. Uh, I cranked up the roll cleaners a little. I'm gonna get out and see what it looks like. It's definitely a little squishy in here, but I carried over it just fine because the grass is thick. But when I dig down where I planted, uh, I think I definitely needed more. I needed more downforce. Probably needed it. I mean, this is this is clearly not the conditions that you'd want to plant in. I'm doing it for the heck of it because because it's here and I can. But the beans, there's a lot of moisture here, but they're sitting right on top, most of them. But it cut through. I don't know. We'll see if anything comes of it. I don't think much will grow here. Mud. Nice. Oh, this might be the worst I've ever had one. I didn't see this one happening in time. Bad deal. We'll get it. 
maybe. That stuff causes problems. Okay, there's 20 minutes down. Millennials should not have to live like this. See that? That could be a... Uh, that, that, shh, shh. Is that a workman's comp claim? What do you guys think? Time for seat. This is where this J&M LC290 is really the ticket when you got one guy and you need to load at the field. It just keeps getting worse. I get asked all the time what that stuff is. As I said in one of my previous videos, it's just talcum powder. It's it's literally baby powder that we put on the on the seed as internal lubricant for the internal planter parts. Farman. again. Did I get through? Got through. Tractor's through. We're through. Didn't doubt it. Wasn't worried. All right, I gotta run. We've got a big dirt track race tonight about an hour up the road. I'm getting a late start. Luckily car owner Corey is there for me to draw for a starting position. He's got the car all ready. I'm gonna leave the boys in the field where they can work tonight. I'm gonna take off for the last uh, three, four hours here and, and get some dirt track racing done. Is this what you guys do while I work? You throw Anna in the pool? Anna, did you go swimming? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Is that funny, Isla? Yeah. Isla, you got some cool glasses. Let me see those. Hey. You're pretty styling. They're mine. <laughs> It's not right to take off on a Friday night and go racing when we're in the position we are with the farm right now. But these guys have got it handled. They're gonna get it done. It's a big race, it's close to home. If it wasn't the bigger race, we wouldn't worry about it, but it is. And on top of that, car owner Corey's gonna be there. So if you've seen my video that I made a year ago from uh, going modified racing in Kansas, you'll understand. It's a, it's a good time hanging out with car owner Corey.